In a few hours, the San Diego Unified Board will meet for a special session to discuss a projected $176 million budget shortfall. Now, this is a meeting that's open to the public, not necessarily a vote, though. CBS 8's Chris Grow in Old Town to explain this budget gap. It's a massive budget and it's a big shortfall and that's the key here when we're talking about this meeting trying to find solutions to close that gap that they're currently looking at right now. In fact, take a look for yourself. Look at your screen at this moment. We'll show you the numbers. You can see there what they are saying is that they have about a little bit more than a billion dollars for funding, but one point one eight billion dollars in expenses that is creating that one hundred and seventy six million dollar budget shortfall. The reasons that they are citing for this declining enrollment, a reduction in funding and increased student need specifically with that funding. Those are COVID-19 funds that were previously used in the past two to three years during the pandemic. But now that we have emerged from the pandemic, those COVID-19 funds have ceased going out from the federal government and San Diego Unified, like a lot of other school districts, not just here in San Diego County, across California, across the US are struggling to find how it is to bridge that gap with all of the the new expenses that they now have. They are hoping that this meeting, which does not have the ability to have a vote, this is not a meeting in which they will be voting or taking any action, but it is an informational meeting. It is one where they will be gathering ideas and discussing potential solutions in order to try to close that budget deficit that they're looking at for not just next year, but potentially moving forward. So this is something that they are putting an emphasis on trying to get this closed sooner. This will be taking place at noon today, something that we will be continuing to follow as the day moves forward. Back to you.